Tyler's the cameraman today, which means that this video is going to be a disaster. I've done this before, but I just... Oh, Tyler! It's been a long day. I was at work all day and I needed to get home and declutter. I've got too much stuff. It's time to let go of some things. It's time for a savage declutter. You know, I, I could have probably touched my makeup a little bit, but you know what? That's not real. Okay, so today I'm gonna go through my entire makeup stash and get rid of the things that I have forgotten about, that I don't like, that I don't use, that don't look good on me, or like too old, you know? Some things I'm never gonna be able to let go of. They're just too sentimental, but some things I think today might make you gasp. I've done this before, but I just used a tripod. I thought this would be better. Silly me, what, what the fuck do I know? So I have a bag and I'm going to do a savage declutter. And when I say savage, I mean I'm ready to let go of... That's not the funny joke you think it is. Wow. <laughs> Anyways, so when I say savage declutter, I mean like I'm worth... <laughs> you're shaking because you're not laughing. <laughs> Get it together! Also, that joke is fucking old, babe. It's not that funny. It's a dad joke. You do it every time. Okay, so savage declutter means I'm ready to let go of some things that I've been holding on to for no no other reason than I just like have sentimental sentimental attachment. Some limited edition things. I think today might be the day, but we'll see. Hopefully, this is enough bag for the makeup that I'm gonna get rid of because I don't really keep that much stuff. So this is empty. This is the case that I use if I'm gonna like do somebody's makeup. So it's empty, there's nothing in here. These are these paper worms that I love to include in giveaways because they're annoying. Most, like about half of this is like Halloween uh, type of things that we're not getting rid of today. Nice try. But there are some things in here that I think I'm gonna like a lot. The top drawer, oof, okay. So when my candles burn down, there's like that little bit in the bottom that I pick out and then I burn them in a wax burner that I don't have anymore. I got rid of it, so I think I can let go of this trash, huh? God, it smells delicious. I've got a lip gloss that I don't care about. Oh, gross. A gray lipstick. Disgusting. A uh, chapstick. That can go. Um, the rest of this is like batteries and things. Oh, I was keeping all these BoxyCharm papers supposed to help me later when I do a BoxyCharm roundup that I'm probably not going to do because I'm really good at this. I want to say that some of these came from the Dollar Tree. These are like sheet masks that I have no idea how old they are. You gotta go. I'm not keeping any of these samples at all. This is lashes. All lashes. I don't really feel the need to let go of any of these because they all fit in here. So... Okay, uh, the ones that don't fit, these ones can go. These ones I don't remember enjoying. I've been looking for these, my magnetic lashes. They are not in with the rest of the lashes, which is why I couldn't find them. I've got a Z palette. I guess I can hold on to that. Wow, this is all like lash bits. Those can go. I got this palette, but the mirror's broken. Shit. It kind of feels wasteful to get rid of the whole palette, but then also the mirror's broken. So. These are more lashes in the wrong drawer. I bought this, this Wet n Wild Saved by the Bell collection. I was so excited and then I didn't feature any of these on the channel. This is still in the package, so I guess I'll hold on to that. Face palette from Tarte. We're gonna move on to that. I've got an Ofra face palette. I think I'll let go of that because I forgot I had it. I like this a lot. This was the Venus palette from Daito Cosmetics, but also I forgot I had it, so. This is all stuff that's not been opened, um, so this is like giveaway stuff, so I'll hold on to that. Alright, now we're getting into Halloween. That's freelance makeup stuff. Halloween. Halloween. Makeup bags. Okay, so the bottom drawer here is all Halloween stuff. Fangs, face paint, latex, yada yada. We'll keep all that keep that. That's a freelance stuff. This is freelance stuff. We'll keep all this for now. This is more kit stuff. Um, yeah, I guess I don't have as much crap in here as I thought I did, so I'm doing pretty good. So just like supplies, just like general supplies. Okay, I've got a lot of sponges. Well, let's see. Are any of them super stained? 
Yeah, or have like chunks out of them. I'll let those go. Dude, this is a Morphe sponge. It's Jeffree Star and Morphe. Terrible. Let it go. This guy's all pitted. We'll let him go. Yeah, these little pink sponges. They go fuck themselves. They're terrible. You know what I don't really love is like the beauty blender, like the real one. <laughs> I never use them. I use everything else because I don't, I don't find them to be the softest ones. They're just not. Okay. Now, let's go through the makeup. So let's start up here. These are face palettes. Wow, this is old. Okay, this is like one of the first things that I ever bought when I started my channel. Crap, should I keep this? Should I keep this? I'm gonna hold on to it. Okay, um, I think all these can stay. This is Beauty Bakery palette. This is actually pretty new. This is the blush palette from Jaclyn that I enjoy. This Coco Contour palette I actually really like a lot and it's pretty good. I'm actually using it. Murray's in the litter box. Hi! Look at that little pink butthole. Oh, he's ready to do some damage. Murray! Did I disturb you? He just got in there and like moved litter around with his front paws and then that was it. Okay. Back to the makeup. This is the Too Faced Sugared Peach Palette that I actually really like. It's like highlighters. We'll keep that. Okay. Now, powders. Okay. So I've got this translucent powder from Koki that I just forget that I have. This e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer that can go... Oh, Murray. No, sir. He's about to shit in the sink. Come here, buddy. Come on, let's go in, the, let's go in there. You go in there and poop. Go in there. You can do it. You go in there and poop. There you go. Oh, you're so good. Very good. Good boy. Good job, Murray. Okay, so powders. Back to powders. Uh, this is more powder that I never use. I forget I have it. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's actually pretty good. Airspun, that's gonna stay. This one is really good. I just forget that I have it. This is from Flower Beauty. It's the Miracle Glow Setting Powder, so there's a little bit of a luminosity. I've actually been like combining a couple of other things to sort of make this, so now that I remember I have this, I can just use it. We've got some Lancome Absolute, the Smashbox. This container is actually really cool because you like shave it to make like fresh powder, but I forget I have it, so that can go. I do like this. This one's good. Pat McGrath is good. Should I? Should I set the world on fire and declutter this? I'm a maniac. I don't like it. I'm the only one on earth. Sorry, Teresa. Next, we're going to foundation. So, I've got this ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation that's actually really nice, but it's the wrong color for me, so that's gonna go. This Koki Foundation can stay. This Estee Lauder Double Wear can stay. This YSL can stay. So, ooh, that's separating. This is It Cosmetics CC Cream. It's my favorite, and I love it, but this one is really old, so we're gonna let that go. This is too fair for me. To like pearlies and this is the um it's like a solid version of the it cosmetics cc cream but i think i got this at like tj maxx maybe not the right color for me i forget why i'm never using it but i'm never using it three items left in this whole drawer who am i setting sprays can all stay okay now this is primers and moisturizers and such so there's definitely a few things in here that we can let go of including this earth harbor Art eye cream? No, thank you. This is so old that it's all separated. I actually really like this, the Glow Recipe Pineapple Sea Bright Serum. It's really good, but it's, it's expired. Do any of these things have dates on them? Actually, this 2022 February. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get to this. It's actually hairspray. Primer oil. I like this Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. It's pretty good. I'm gonna keep this. That, keep that. Ooh. Okay, so any of the stuff that's on my actual desk, I'm not even gonna like go over there because I'm definitely using all those things. So it doesn't expire until June. This is the glassy balm. 
I actually like this. We'll keep that. That's that for primers. Okay, now let's move over. Let's do these lipsticks, I guess, on top. I don't really have that much crap. I feel like I really did declutter this strongly last time. And I just don't hold on to stuff that I'm not using. There's definitely stuff with dust on it though, which is telling. So I have MAC Peach Stick. I think I've used this twice ever since buying it. That can go. Look at the dust on this. Can you see? It's Dolce Vita, which I have repurchased a bunch of times. It's actually, it's actually really good. And I've used a lot of this, but this is pretty old. So we'll let her go. Maybelline Beige Babe. Ooh, there's mold on this. There's mold growing on it. Oops. I bought this. I was influenced by Raw Beauty Christy. This is Mocha Licious. She uses this to reduce butthole mouth on the lipstick. Um, I never, I never use it. So I've never used this. It's a Smashbox liquid lipstick that's like metallic. We're going into the holidays. I'm gonna keep it just because I'm weak. The rest of this stuff I feel like I'm using pretty often, or it's like for costume. I'll get rid of that next season. Not this season. These are all glosses that I'm using. A lipstick from Estate Cosmetics in the color Pink Pony. Oh, that's actually really nice. I forgot I had this. Didn't know, so I'll just put it here so I remember. Love this. The strobing palette from Koki. These are like creams. I never use these, so. These are all eye pencils. Man, I decluttered this hard last time. I think I'm down to just like the bare basics. I think all of these can stay. This is liquid liners and freckle pens. Liquid liners, liquid liners. That's a blue liquid liner that can go. And another BFF liquid liner from ColourPop. It's one of my favorites. Now we've got cream blushes. This is new-ish. I never use it. I'm never gonna reach for it. This can go. Palladio cheap and lip, lip, cheap and lip, cheap and <sighs> cheek and lip tint. Wow, I'm having a stroke. Um, I got rid of a lot of these Rare Beauty blushes, but I kept this one. Why? Why did I keep this one? This has a cheek color on me. Great idea. Fenty Beauty Cream Blush, and then these two liquid blushes from Flower Beauty. Pretty old, and I never use them. Now we're going into powders. Okay. So I've got an Ofra, oh this is the Samantha March um, collection. We've got a shimmery and a regular blush. We're gonna keep this. NARS Blissful. It looks like a bruise. No, you gotta go. This is actually, this is KVD Vegan Beauty in Lolita. This is an eyeshadow and blush. It's actually really nice. So I'm gonna keep this. MAC Melba, that's a classic. This Laura Geller Baked Blush in Brighton Tropic Hues. This one I never use. It's from Milani. It's the color Peach of Me. It's really pretty. It has a pretty shimmer in it, but it's like straight up orange. So no. Milani T Rose. This is actually a perfect dupe for this MAC Melba, but it's not as pigmented and doesn't come off of this pan very nice, so I'm gonna let this go. Ooh, I love this. This is the True Blend Serving Sculpt Palette from CoverGirl. Bloom Babe. It's actually very nice. And this Blush Trio from Olimar. Very good, we'll keep her. ABH, it's the pool party trio, yeah. Blush trio and pool party, it's good, it's good. Um, these are just tools. You know what I never use? A jade roller. So this is my lash, my fake lash cleaner, and what is this? An eyelash curler. Next is highlighters. I have had this What's Up from Benefit for like eight years that can go this becca shimmering skin perfector that's old too that can go these they don't make anymore these cover effects drops in this color i almost i almost called it shake well that's not the color what's the color nova wow this is abh perla i got this because it's supposed to be a dupe for the dose of colors desi katie fuego highlighter but i still have that too this liquid highlighter from rare beauty is it's on probation. I don't know, but I'm not ready to give up just yet. Chili Mango in the Fenty Matchstick. I don't love this for me, so I'm gonna let it go, but I do have somebody in mind that's gonna be great for. Got Ofra. Oh, this is another Summer March Ofra highlighter. It's so pretty. This is the Stuff Trons Milk and Cookies highlighter from Ofra. It's actually very pretty, so we'll keep her. Pretty vulgar shimmering swan. I actually really like that a lot. Alright, so I have some Hourglass 
ambient lighting power power powder and diffused lights that can go fenty highlighter this color is blue it looks insane but it's actually very pretty we'll keep this got the dose of colors fuego highlighter that must stay Ooh, fenty beauty hustla baby it's actually very pretty we'll keep her um reezy forever keeping Too Faced candlelight glow i tried to depot this a while ago and i ruined it and i never reached for it so time to go this is a newer one it's part of that saved by the bell collection from wet n wild it's um half blush half highlighter so we'll keep we've got mac show gold it's actually very nice and some loose highlighter in summer haze is the diamond glow powder from artist couture very very nice i have this palette that i've never used <laughs> never used um i just don't have the outer unit carton anymore maybe i'll move this to the giveaway drawer it's still technically new, I just don't have the box it came in. So up top, oof. Okay, we got liquid eyeshadows. So this came in a boxy charm a long time ago. It's from Ciate London. It's very pretty, but I never use it. So that can go. This is Marc Jacobs. What's it called? Smoked glass sequins. I feel like this is newer, so we'll keep that. This is House Labs. Um the color is Glamour, nope, chain ballerina, whatever. That's newer. We'll keep that. I never reach for these rare beauty liquid eyeshadows. So these Stila liquid glitters are so pretty, but they're dried up. I just like tried to use them the other day, and they're all dried up. So those can go. Then we've got a Natasha Denona. It's like one of the two Natasha Denona things that I have. Chromium liquid eyeshadow. It's actually very nice. And then there's a dupe for it from Ciate, so we'll keep that. These are primers. This loose pigment can go. We're going to keep the glitters. The glitters don't really expire, do they? And we've got... Okay. All right. Decision. How many sharpeners do I need? I wonder. I have one from Morphe, one from Revlon, one from Ulta Beauty. Keep this Ulta one. I'll let go of this shitty Revlon one. Keep this Morphe one, question mark? It's just because it has this little, like, crumb catcher, you know? Okay, we got an eyeshadow primer that can stay. Next, we've got a gel liner pot that can stay. It's very good. This is uh, Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer that can stay. We've got a palette from Wander Beauty that's really nice, but I never use it. So this was a gift from Miss The Great, Kate The Great Beauty. I'm going to keep this. Ooh, this is an eyeshadow quad that I... Never use, but I can't let it go because it's so pretty. One eyeshadow single. This is the L'Oreal Paris Color Riche in Little Beige Dress. It's like my perfect skin tone, so that's going to stay. These are all loose pigments. These are just fun to have, so those can stay. And then I've got this, it's like a cream shadow from KVD Vegan Beauty. It's pretty, but don't use it, so that can go. And then I've got my Auric Smoke Reflect in Ego. Uh, cost like my year's salary, so I'm gonna keep that. Lip pencils. It's fine. There's not too many. This is newer, but I'm never gonna use it. It's a bronze multi stick from Persona. I remember this being a little too orange for me, so that can go. This is actually the contour um, palette that I've been using the most lately, so we'll keep her. This is Ofra Banana Powder. Mmm, not ready to let that go yet. This is Samantha March's bronzer from Ofra. Love that. This one, this is a contour, like a sculpt palette from Pure. And I'm going to keep it because this color is like super duper deep. And it's like one of the only ones that I have in that color. So we'll keep her. From Pretty Vulgar, this is the Nesting Bitch Face palette that... Nope. Forgot I had it. And this is the Wander Beauty Trip for Two that I love. I really use this a lot, but I would like to use all of it so she can stay. And then this is the Hoola Quickie Contour Stick that they don't sell anymore. So I'll let it go. Next up, this is eyeshadow primer. I'm just going to move this up here. A lot of old um, concealers. This one from ColourPop is the wrong color. Neutrogena Radiant cream concealer. That one can stay. From Pretty Vulgar, that one can stay. This old concealer, I want to say, is too light, so that can go. There's two from Pat McGrath that I'm going to keep because they're Pat McGrath. 
Derma call. This stuff's incredible. If you've not discovered this, you should try it. It's on Amazon. And then we've got It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. I mean, that's a keeper. Okay, this is all brow stuff. We got two dip brow pomade pots. Those can stay. Actually, there's not a whole lot, and everything fits in here, so we'll just save some time. I'm just gonna keep it all. Last drawer, mascaras. This one's still in the package. That can stay. This is the Wonder Beauty Mile High in a tube that I like, but it's dried out. We've got Essence Get Big Lashes. That's dried out. Um, Koki is good. There's two Kokis in here. Oh my God. This tube of roller lash in brown. They don't make this anymore. Do you see how beautiful and perfect this color is? Brown. Brown for us goblins. Benefit. Let's bring this back. Call me. Call me. We'll, we'll bring it back. You and me together. Yeah, right. They know who I am. Elizabeth. Ma I don't even know what this is. I can go. This Ofra mascara, I want to say, is okay. This is white mascara. Keeping it just to be weird. This is my most favorite mascara ever, L'Oreal Voluminous. Oh, that one is brown. Oof, that's gloppy. Maybe I should let it go, huh? All right, there's a lot of new real estate in here, so I can feel better about keeping a bunch of the stuff that comes in BoxyCharm, even though I'm quitting BoxyCharm. This rack is the rest of the eyeshadow palettes. I don't feel like I have that many, although it's a lot. I don't think I'm gonna get rid of a lot of stuff here. This is my Viseart palette that I'm going to keep forever. There's a ColourPop RBK that is so good. This one is super duper old. This is the ColourPop You Had Me at Hello that I don't think you can get anymore, but look at the colors. <laughs> so pretty. The Child palette, the other Raw Beauty Christie palette, and then these are two really pretty ones from Estate Cosmetics. Ah! But I'm just going to keep because look how pretty. These are all Alter Ego palettes. I don't know what to do. I feel like they come out with a new one. I get it. I use it. I love it. And then I forget I have it. So I don't know. Let me think about that a little bit more. This is the ultimate basics from Urban Decay. Wow, did you hear that creak? It's like telling me, I'm old. Let me die. I think I'm going to let this one go. It's super old. Is there a date on it? No, but it's definitely expired. This one hurts. Okay, this is limited edition. It's the Gwen Stefani Urban Decay collab. And the colors are so pretty. Um, but you know what? You know how old this is? <laughs> this thing's like seven years old. Eight years old, probably. I can't do anything with any of the Urban Decay nakeds. They're just gonna stay, even if they're just decoration. And that means I can move this here. That's my uh, transition palette from Dominique Cosmetics. That can stay. This is the Divine Neutral from Jacqueline. That can stay. This is... I just got this one from Violet Boss, Violet Sunset. She can stay. Um, the handbook for the recently deceased is just like, the eyeshadows aren't good, okay? They're not, but it's cute, so we'll keep it for now. Um, this one's actually pretty good, the storybook one, so we'll keep that for now. This Anastasia Norvina collection is actually really good, so we'll keep her. It's good to have around for like wild colors, you know? Color pop, oof. Okay, this is the Ace Beauty. Forgot she was there. Hip Dot, it's like all greens and blues. God damn it, these fucking things. This one from Olimar is a classic, super pretty, super blendable, creamy shadows. My Trixie Cosmetics Bottle Blonde, I love it. Stain. Ooh, Norvina, wow, look at this package. She is aged. I think I might, I think I might be ready to let her go. Okay, this one, the Frenkation, is staying forever because it's so pretty. And this Natasha Denona, I think I'm going to declutter because I never use it. Cancel me. So we are keeping these, we're keeping all of these, we're keeping all of this. Oh, I've got this little quad from Estate that can go. Sorry, Estate. This Huda Beauty Lilacs. Those are really cute. We'll keep her. We're going to hold on to these for a little bit longer, I think. And then I've got two palettes back here from Melt that are and Crayable, okay? They're so pretty, bold, beautiful, bright colors. I'm keeping them forever. Now I have the Tati Beauty Volume 1. Well, we all know Tati Beauty's not a thing anymore. They went under. Ah, I don't know. Like, if it's, if I, if, if you can't buy it, you can't get it anymore, like, why, why keep it? Is it stupid? Maybe I'll just keep it. The OG, Ms. Jaclyn Hill. I have gone through this like nobody's business. And the formula on this has changed with the re-release, but you know what? I have this now. 
which is a lot of the same colors. So I think, I think it's time to let her go. Bye, bye Jacqueline. So here is all my decluttered makeup. <laughs> There's a lot in there, a lot of good stuff. A lot of just really old stuff and just a lot of things that maybe are really great but I just forgot about and wasn't reaching for. So my neighbors are gonna be really happy. <laughs> um, but we will do another giveaway soon to try to clean out this giveaway drawer. So I think that's, I think that's it. I was gonna go downstairs and do my skincare drawer but I don't think Tyler has the strength. He's grimacing at me from behind the camera. I'm decluttered now. You're like all in gullet. Just lots of, lots of double chins and boogers and nose hairs. Thank you so much for that. Yes, that's better. That's better, much better. Thank you so much. Okay, my cameraman quit. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a declutter of the bathroom as well because my little skincare drawer is a problem. Oh, do you like our Christmas tree in the bedroom? If you don't have a Christmas tree in your bedroom, you should consider getting one. Even if it's a small one that just like sits on a nightstand or a dresser, it's a game changer. Okay, so much holiday spirit, so much. Let's declutter some skincare stuff because I just have too much, too much, man. This is my skincare drawer and it's just like really sort of overrun. Like I don't even know what's in here anymore. So let me set the camera down and then we'll go through each of these little bins and get rid of some stuff. I can imagine the super flattering angles that Tyler was giving me in the last video. I could see it. I could see it. Lots of chins, lots of gut and butt. So flattering. All right, let's start here with this smallish bin. Okay, so this is brand new. This is the Kate Somerville goat milk cleanser. We'll keep this. This needs to get re-homed. Uh, this is like travel size wipes. I keep this with like my travel size things. This is almost to the end. I can keep using this until it's gone. This is super old tea tree oil, but I still use it. This is the discoloration correcting serum from Good Molecules that I never use. That's not true. I use nearly all of it. So let's set that aside. Clutter. This carrot serum is nearly gone. Um, it's actually pretty good, but it expires. No, it expires in November. Maybe I should just keep it and keep using it. Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum from Glow Recipe that I love their products, but I just never reach for this. So maybe I'll declutter it. Here's another one, Super Peptide Serum from Good Molecules. I'm gonna let that go. This is the Serum Vitamin E Retinol from Clara's New York that I never use. Okay, this makes me very, very, very sad. But this La Mer that I was so excited to get, my skin hates it. I think I might be allergic or sensitive to the active ingredient of this. Guess what, Kate? <laughs> You're getting some La Mer. This is some makeup remover spray that's just old as dirt. A makeup brush handle with no brush, just handle. A loose cotton round that can go. Some random sample size of cream. Illuminator. That can go. Didn't even know I had that. Super old lip oil. Disgusting and gross. Zit treatment from Burt's Bees. It's good, but it's old. Super old. Oh, this is almost to the very, very end. This is Pharmacy Green Clean. It's like some of the best makeup remover balm there is. Another tea tree oil. That's really good for zits, you guys. Very good. Oh, there's the brush that goes with, the, with that brush handle that I just threw out. This is... Blue Tansy Night Oil. I'm gonna let that go because I never use it. And this is Josie Marin Divine Drip Argan Oil and Honey Sleeping Nectar. This is a face mask that's actually pretty good, very hydrating. It does have kind of a weird smell, a little plasticky, but it's okay. So let's put these things back in here. All right, we've got this lip mask that I am never gonna use. We'll let that go. Eye gels, we'll keep these. These are more like peel off masks. Tyler likes these, so I keep these around. These are just sheet masks. I always try to keep a couple of these in case I'm feeling especially raisin-ish, dry and crusty, you know. This is a moisture boost cream from Mud Masky. These are just things that I forget that I have, so. Ooh, I'm getting to the end of this. This is my real calendula 
Hyaluronic Peeling Gel from April Skin. This brand is super, super cool. If you've not discovered them, you should check them out. Ooh, Murad Hydrating Toner, love. Oh, this is such a classic, you guys. The Lancome Cream Creme Radiance. It's like one of the best makeup removing creams. I just love it so much. I love this, this Hydration Murad Exfoliating Cleanser. Gentle, but exfoliating. Ooh, this is lotion. I'm not supposed to be in here. <laughs> Lavender Blossom body butter. Tis the season for dry ass skin. My poor brush has been smashed in this drawer, so it needs to be revived, but I love to dry brush my skin in the wintertime. It helps like loosen up loose skin and turn it over and make you less crusty and dusty. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, my gua sha stone. It's a little piece of jade and you use it to like help with your lymphatic drainage. It helps. It's not a scam. It really works. And this is just some like plain oil that I use with it. So we'll keep her in here. Laura Mercier Flawless Skin Repair Eye Serum. I should be using eye serums. I'm an old, but I always forget. So let that go. This is almost over. This is from Emma Hardy. It's the Brilliance Facial Oil. I actually use this on my legs and my elbows because I just like working this in with regular lotion to make it more effective you know this is almost to the end this is the first aid beauty gentle foaming face cleanser i like it a lot it's almost to the end i'm going to keep using it until it's gone see this is the danger of having too much shit is that you don't know what you have and then you forget so this is from saturday skin it's the pretty pop probiotic power whipped cream it's a moisturizer it's really really lovely actually okay lms pro collagen eye revive mask I'll let that go, never use it. All right, from Ula Hendrickson, the Fat Glow Facial. This is actually pretty good, so we will keep her. Okay, this is the Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask from Glow Recipe. It's actually pretty good, and I've used a lot of it, so might as well keep it until it's all gone. From Wishful, this is the Honey Balm Jelly Moisturizer. That's what it looks like in there. I just kind of rotate between like four and five different moisturizers. This is the Clinique. Oh, this was a gift from Linda. This was like um, Linda's Sephora birthday gift or Ulta birthday gift. Um, and she gave it to me because she doesn't like this product. We're in this bin here. So this is a regular hand lotion. I like to kind of keep these in like bags, desks, cars. So this is just misplaced. It's in the wrong area. This is the Exfolicate Glow Moisturizer from Kate Somerville. That is really good. And I've just been you know, rotating it through with my 800 other moisturizers. Okay, we've got the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinol Sleeping Mask. I keep saying how much I like their stuff, but then I'm decluttering everything. So maybe I'll keep this one and try to work through it before it expires. Packaging is nice, the ingredients are beautiful, and it makes your skin feel and look really nice, so why not? Okay, this is Reset Organic Oil-Free Makeup Remover that I never use, so that can go. This is the QMS lip line corrector. I thought this was working. I don't think it's, I don't really think it's doing anything. We'll just let that go. This is the Age Away Replenishing Cream. I seem to remember this being like unusually expensive for how small amount you get in there, but I never use it. What I'll do is I'll just put this on my bedside table and use it like on my feet or my dry ass legs, you know? It's all separated and it's a very odd shade. <laughs> it's not pink anymore. It's time to let her go. She's expired. Peel off mask. Another really great product from April Skin that I'm almost through. So we'll just keep her. Silicone brush applicator tool. These are really, really good. There's another lift off mask from Wander Beauty. It's almost empty. We'll go ahead and keep. A serum cocktail from Skin Ink, the supplement bar. Maybe. It fits in there, so I guess we'll just keep her. Nope, I'm not keeping any sample sizes. They can all go. All of these can go. Uh, from Tula Skincare, this is an exfoliating scrub that I actually like a lot. It's got like a really nice grit on it, but it's very gentle. Ooh, the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. This is a really good like super moisturizer. Ooh, another good exfoliating mask. And there's like one more treatment left in here. This is the Pumpkin Turmeric Mask from Yenza. I really like it. There's like two pumps left of this Honeymoon Glow, but it is discolored. 
it's not supposed to be this color anymore. So we're gonna let her go. We've got a little bit of moisturizer from Grown Alchemist. This is an Australian company that I actually really quite like and I've used a lot of this, so I might as well just keep it and keep going. Another product from Grown Alchemist that has been working well. This is the Detox Night Cream, just another moisturizer. Oh, good old Aquaphor. You gotta, it's winter time, you gotta keep it. So here is the after, now that she's tidied up. Much more manageable, much more space. We've got some room for some additions. And a few of these things I think are gonna be used up, like this, these moisturizers, this cleanser, it's almost out, so I feel pretty good about this. So I, I have a lot of stuff, okay? More than any one person really, really needs. But remember, I get three boxy charms a month, so there's a lot of stuff in there. I don't go through it all. And then sometimes I'm curious and just kind of try new things in addition to the things that I love that I use a lot. Like I'm sure you didn't see some of my staples in that drawer because there's like a different rack on top of my sink that's actually pretty clean and well curated. So I think that's it for the declutter. So skincare and makeup got rid of a lot of stuff and I feel pretty good about it. So I hope you enjoyed this declutter. If I made you gasp, let me know in the comments below because I love that. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye. This looks really great. Great angles. Is it recording? I think I should keep this. Oh my God. That's my... Oh, it's the timer. We have to go set off the camera. Is it recording? Is it recording? Yeah. Come on, babe.